Pastor Ralph, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? You no Fratello? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you gotta go lower. <laughs> I know, I know. So who just played tonight in your backcourt? Uh, the same one we've had. They won with the Last game. I guess we change it every game, so yeah. yeah. We don't mean to change it, you know, so. How difficult has it been for the new guys to adjust, and, and particularly uh, Tobias Harris? What do you feel like he's adding? I think they're in a good place. I mean, we, we um, they've played great overall. Uh, we've played pretty well. You know, it's I, I, you know it, it just it depends on situations. That's where it becomes difficult. You know, just playing basketball. Uh, you know, we play a motion. We're spreading the floor. That part they do. Uh, you know, in the game execution out of bound execution, anything like that, that's where they struggle, you know. Um, it just, it, it, it's new, so it just takes time. Um, you know, we just have to be very careful not to call anything, you know. Um, you know Austin was telling us, uh, I guess last game he called a set and he said he saw the, everybody freeze and he, <laughs> said he, he realized that probably wasn't a good call, you know, but it, that's gonna happen. And, and even if you go over it, you know, like we, we went over a bunch of stuff today uh, but I don't expect them to know how to run it, you know. And so what we're trying to do right now, we run our regular sets out of timeouts, sets that they've worked on, even though they don't remember them, but they, they've seen them. Uh, instead of we, we've just basically taken all ATOs out, you know, we're just running our sets. So. With, uh, with Avery, obviously you talked a ton about what he brings defensively. Mm -hmm. Do you not worry about the offense with him? Right no, I, I keep, and, you know, he's been injured, you know, and so you don't just come back and play well, but that, that'll happen. I'm not that concerned at all with Avery. Doc, you just, you just played uh, the Philly guys. Uh, yeah. You were watching Boston. We didn't actually play. They were they were playing us. Uh, so we wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did you happen to watch that game? <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's an yeah. Uh, when you see these young guys nowadays who are coming along with a lot of hype, mm -hmm. can you tell right away, you know, are you impressed or? or yeah, I'm, I, I'm still, you know, I'm, I'm I'm still very impressed sometimes. You know, I have still great first impressions, you know. And then, you know, uh, both of those guys, you know. And Sark, we forget, is, is young too. You know, we, we kind of excuse him from being from Europe. We, we, you know, we act like he's 40, you know. Uh, he's young too. Um, but those two, the two you're talking about, they're, 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 I mean, first, second, third, every time you see them, you're more and more impressed. Uh, Simmons is just as Shorty, you know, forget the skill. The skill level is unbelievable. His passing, he just acts like he's like been on earth longer than he has, and, and he, he acts like he's been in the league a lot longer. Uh, he, he, you can't speed him up. You know, he's he's patient. You know, you trap him, he does one thing. You, you front him on the post, he knows how to spin. I mean, just you know, where he, someone taught him very well, or he had great instincts. You know, but that's that's coaching from somewhere too. Because yeah. coming to the league younger, do you see much of that, or that's really? Yeah, I think what he has is special. I just think his IQ level is, is really special, and it's and it's special too because he does it at us. He's not going too fast; like he just does it at NBA speed already. It's I, I, when we saw him early in the year, I was blown away by that, you know. And then last the other night, I was blown away again. Unfortunately, I mean, he's, they're really good. Are you this close to the All Star game? Are there things that you have to be a little worried about with the team, or are they putting straight on that you need to keep winning games because it's so? Close? Well, I mean, we know that logically. You know that the players know that logically, but that doesn't mean the All Star break doesn't have an impact on guys. You know, you just never know. I mean, honestly, um, we played a back to back game and. You know, just watching us uh, against Philly, I should have done a lot of different things. Personally, just you know, playing guys too many minutes early uh, who played back to back. You know, Avery and Austin and hadn't played in them, you know, in forever. Austin had missed 18 games. We play them, and then we play them again, 33 minutes. So, you know, maybe I was on break. I mean, I don't know, but that I didn't do a good job. Uh, so you would love to say like we our trans everything was bad in that game, and we still had it down to two at the one point. Uh, but you'll know more tonight and the next night. I mean, we have two games left. And for us, you know, we have to try to win every game. Uh, we, we dug ourselves a hole earlier. We, uh, I mean, it's just we're in the West. You lose four in the West, you know, you're out. You know, that's just how it is. So we have to win games.
Doc, how impressed have you been with Danilo since he's been back? Uh, who? With Danilo Gallinari. Oh, he's been great. This is, uh, this is the one we signed. You know, uh, he, he's, he's been absolutely wonderful. Uh, he's, playing at a, he's playing aggressively, you know. Um, he's doing a lot, too. You know, I think defensively he's been really good. His, his passing is terrific. And he stretches the floor, you know. And, and we're, you know, with Tobias and him, we're not sure who's the three or the four. You know, we just kind of played them as wing guys. And, and so it's been really good for us. When you look at Alan Crabb's last two games for the Nets, do yeah. you got, does he command any special attention? Anybody that can shoot commands attention, you know, uh, like they really do. Um, uh, because he can put the ball on the floor a little bit as well, but he's more, you know, he wants to catch shoot, but he can put it on the floor. Um, and shooters who are great shooters to begin with, and then when they ha have high confidence, they become dangerous. Uh, so, yeah, he's on the radar. And what do you think about Joe Harris' performance for the last six games? Well, I wouldn't know the last six, but I can tell you the last couple that I watched, he, he's been great. But I, I, I like Joe. Uh, I've liked him for a long time. You know, he's, he's an aggressive kid. Uh, his, he has this unshakable confidence. Joe can have a game where he misses four, five, six threes in a row, and the next one he's not hesitating. I think that's what makes him, makes him dangerous, uh, makes him a good player. I don't know if you mentioned this today or yesterday, but when was the last time you ran an NBA game that you weren't involved in at all as a, as a coach? You know, coach? I was trying to think. I actually thought it, it never, you know, uh, but then I thought about it uh, two, three years ago. Austin was playing for the Pelicans, and they were in town and playing the Lakers. And so I got to see one. Other than that, that was first time in uh, 30 years. What's up? What's up uh, that I had been in the stands. I, I think the, the one before that, we were in town. I was a player playing for the Hawks, and we were in town to play Indiana, and Sacramento was playing, but Randy Whitman had just got traded to Sacramento, so we went to watch him play, you know? Uh, it's been a long, it's nice though, it's fun, like, especially where we were sitting, you know? Um, and one of the refs threw uh, Woody out, uh, Mike Woodson out, the last time we saw him last week, so I had some, I had some words for him, for sure. <laughs> of course, I said Woody said it. Was no. the same guy that threw you out, too? No, the other one threw me out. <laughs> I was hoping he'd be there, too, but he wasn't. Did you get a tech from the uh, baseline? That's funny. Scott Wall said that right when he saw us. He said, I'll give you a tech. I don't care. I'll give any of you guys a tech <laughs> right here. So. But I tell you, it is different. It's, it's, it was interesting. I, I, I learned some stuff. It was, it was really cool sitting there. Yeah. Can you actually not think as a basketball fan, like everyone watch the games, like, okay, Cleveland's better than Boston now, blah, blah, blah. Can you just enjoy the atmosphere? Or are you thinking, like, how are we going to defend that if we don't play these guys? Yeah, I was more of a coach because we played Boston Wednesday. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I was sitting there as a complete coach <laughs> and scout. That, um, But it still was a very good – it was really interesting to do that. And they have to do that more. I mean, honestly, it was really cool. I, I got a lot out of it. I really did. All right, I'm done with you guys. <laughs>